Okay, now I know I often poke fun at the government or lack of government. I want to make a video here about something I'm dealing with on a personal level. My neighbor here has decided to have a sh some sort of structure overhanging my property. I don't know, about, about six feet. Looks to be about 10, 12 feet tall, maybe 100 pounds. And the city of Meridian, code enforcement, the police department, building code, the mayor, I've spoken with all of them. They say there's nothing that they can do about this, that this is a civil matter and that I'm gonna need to retain a lawyer. You know, it's gonna cost me thousands of dollars. Either that or I can just pull this thing down, potentially hurt myself. You know, this thing's gonna fall down, it's gonna, Kill my dog, my chickens, maybe one of my kids. Uh, but this is what we get for our tax dollars. Le total lack of enforcement of any <laughs> decency, right? It's like, if they can't fine you, it seems like the government doesn't want anything to do with it. At least not the police department, not code enforcement. They'll just let this structure overhang, causing, you know, potentially serious harm to somebody. And uh, they'll just say, sorry, Mario, you got to deal with it yourself. Of course, I try to talk to my neighbor about these, this thing and multiple other issues. It's threatened me with violence and suing me and all types of other issues. Uh, but where's the government here? Where, where, where's the government when you have a huge leaning, <laughs> I don't know what this is, just intentionally put onto your fence? And they won't, they won't come out here and tell my neighbor, neighbor to move it. They said they will not come out here and do anything. But I'll have to retain a lawyer. What if I'm poor? What if I can't? afford the thousands of dollars to retain a lawyer what about my tax property tax that i pay doesn't that shouldn't that be covering something here so this is my message to the uh city meridian to the county commissioners uh, you get tax money my tax money i pay it with every purchase that i make I pay my property taxes. And uh, where are the services that I'm supposed to be uh, getting for this tax money? Where are these services? It would be entirely easy. Oh, not, not only to mention that, that I have this structure, but also my neighbor has stuck staples through the fence. See these staples right here? About an inch and a half long. There's hundreds of them going all along the fence. And he's done this to my yard in retaliation um, because I originally called code enforcement about uh, people living in trailers on the street. And he has multiple, you know, a dozen cars out on the street sometimes so I call I try to be a good Samaritan and I try to you know call the authorities and uh, then what I'm retaliated against for making those calls and the authorities they just leave you hanging so oh, you got to get a lawyer get a lawyer for this huge structure thing that's leaning over my property here so yeah my question is where's where's my tax money going county commissioners you, you're the ones who oversee the uh, property taxes where where are my property taxes going the value of my pro i how could I, my property be assessed for any type of tax when there's impossible? I couldn't even sell my house. 
Nobody would come to my house right now and buy buy this house. Even though I have a very nice house. Okay? Beautiful home. Me and my family live in. We love our house. We've done everything to maintain it and keep it in good order. But to say that there's any value in it right now is ridiculous because nobody would come and buy my house. Because laws aren't being enforced on people who have junkyards in their backyard or huge leaning structures into my property. Who would buy my house? Nobody. So this is a this is a call out to the city of Meridian, county commissioners. Uh, please get in touch with me. You know, send me the name of a lawyer <laughs> or somebody who, who can represent me. I just tried to call multiple lawyers. They said they're a month out. So in the meantime, I have this hazard hanging over my yard. And um, with no means of resolution. I have Animals are in danger, my kids are in danger, and no means of resolution because the city of Meridian says uh, that this is no violation of code. They have more, hundreds of staples going through my fence. Having a huge leaning structure is not a violation of any laws. So, you know, I know, I like I said, I know I make fun of the government a lot and, and I'm a libertarian and I criticize them for, I criticize the government for lots of things. But I feel, I'm feeling a little bit more justified right now in my position. I really am. I'm feeling a little bit more justified because, you know, as soon as you need their help, where are they? You're driving down the street, you have one too many beers. Oh, they're going to fine you. You're going... Five miles over the speed limit, they're going to fine you. If they could get money, they're quick to get there. But if there's any sort of legal issue, real legal issue, uh, it's very difficult to get anything done. So please, City Meridian, uh, Police Department, Code Enforcement, Building Codes, Mayors, County Commissioners, I hope you watch this video and I hope you, uh, I hope you can reach out to me and, and give me a, a, a quick resolution other than pull this thing down on top of myself uh, and get hurt. Because that's, that's, what, that's what you guys have told me so far today. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.